Hello, hello. Beautiful. Got to make sure the mic works so everyone can hear me. A lot of people here. All right, guys. Welcome to the first 2019 Sec IC. This is the 101. What is Sec IC? I think everybody pretty know, much knows this, but we'll go over it anyway. We're City Sec, unaffiliated collection of informal meetups for like-minded security professionals. We're here to talk to security. Fourth Wednesday of every month, and we are registered 501c3 nonprofit. Um, we have swag. Our merch monger will get into that. Disclaimer. We are an educational entity. We do not condone any illegal activity utilizing any information presented at SecIC, either during or outside of SecIC meetings. Uh, we do have a code of conduct. It's pretty simple. Don't be an ass. We have final say on what constitutes being an ass. Um, if you have any issues, if anyone is being an ass, let us know. Um, challenge ideas, not people. We stole this from SecDSM. We stole it from SecKC. Um, people have different ideas. It's fine to challenge ideas, but be respectful of each other. Um, disagree with the idea, not the person. Kind of, kind of, um, bit more specific version of don't be an ass. Business in the front, party in the back. Uh, presentations are up here. Pete's on the side. We've got bathrooms in the back. We've got a bartender back there. So go back there and order your drinks and tip well. Um, yeah, stairs, don't fall down. Sponsor, uh, no sponsor tonight. We do have sponsorship opportunities available. We do have a sponsor lined up for next month already, but, um, April's, uh, March, skipped a month. March is open. So, uh, hit up that link. If you want to sponsor, if you know anyone who wants to sponsor, give them that information. Tonight's agenda, 101, it's happening. News, next and then uh, the only thing we've got scheduled is Zach. He's going to teach you how to hack dumberly and a questions for the red team segment. Is that my typo or yours? Probably yours. <laughs> next month, um, nothing lined up yet for next month. I think I've, I'm kind of tentatively planning on doing something. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to give a presentation, we'd love to hear it. Uh, go to our website and, and uh, submit a talk. So, yeah, we would love to have everyone here give a talk. If you haven't given a talk yet, you should do so. Um, you guys will probably get tired of hearing us eventually. But it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't have to be monumental. Uh, it doesn't have to be an hour long, you know, 10, 15 minutes. You got something you're working on that's not fully baked? Cool. We'd love to see it. Um, come up here and just tell us about it. Okay, those are your uh, handsome board members. Most of us are here tonight. Brandon is not, but our website, secic.org. Email, contact at secic.org. Twitter is at sec underscore IC. And our YouTube, we have a bit.ly link because they changed their policy and they won't give us YouTube secic. Talk to us on Slack. We have 99 people. That's the one I checked earlier today. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, do we do we have a hundred yet? I'll have to check. Damn it! What happened? Like at one? Okay. Well, I guess we can try and figure out who the hundredth person is and force them to take a book. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, join our Slack if you're not on there. Uh, go to secic.org and click Slack, or you can just scroll down. Um, it's pretty easy to sign up. There's a sign up box, put in your email, then the robot emails you and you have access. Upcoming cons, CypherCon is the first one. Um, that is in Milwaukee, April 11th and 12th. I think I'm going, Dennis is going, I don't think, I don't know anyone else is going, but, um, I know Brandon went last year. I don't know if he's gone, but besides Iowa is next. Um, it's okay. Greg's, uh, Greg's behind B-Sides Iowa. It's awesome. You guys should go. Um, students get a free ticket. 
Um, otherwise, it's you know pretty inexpensive. Um, come down to Des Moines. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Uh, next one is Circle City Con. I know a lot of us. Uh, that's that's one of our favorites. That's in Indianapolis, uh, May thirty first to June second. Um, the room block for that one is up. Room block for room block for CypherCon is up too, but um, I don't know if anyone's gone to that. But the Circle City Con, um, the room block, you have to go to their Twitter page. It's not on their website. And uh, yeah, Circle City Con is an awesome one. That's that's a full three days, um, six hundred people. They do a lot of free training, so that's another one we like going to. So we usually bring a crowd. Brings us to the conference scholarship. Uh, this is a SEC DSM thing, but they've extended it to us as well. Um, when SEC DSM competes for a black badge and they win a black badge, um, we've, we've won some of them too. We won some of the Wild West Hackenfest ones. Um, what they do with those badges is then they, they put them in a the pool and um, you can, you can uh, apply for their scholarship to get free admission to one of these cons. So. Um, up here we've got we've got GurCon, we've got ThoughtCon, Wild West Hackenfest, DefCon, and those two over there I think are Circle City Cons. So, um, yep, we got five, six, yeah, six Wild West Hackenfest badges. So, yeah, so um, yeah, if you're a student, um, if you're you know new to the con life, not sure if you like it, whatever, um, apply, you might get a free uh, free admission. So up next, we get our merch monger, financial trace barriers, parency report, news and jobs. Are you going to do, do merch? Yeah, is it anybody's first time? First time, first time? First time is get a free sticker. Everyone else gets a free sticker too. Yeah, those are five bucks. And we got blockchain. Yep. Um, that's a donation. Recommended donation is five bucks. <laughs> this isn't your flea market. <laughs> you already sold your Honda. Okay. Yep. month, this was through December, uh, we had $1,145. Um, we didn't have a meeting last month, but uh, we're always a month behind. So the expenses uh, for pizza in November was $145. Um, we had pretty good turnout for donations. We had a, a very large substantial donation with some small ones that so had $120. Um, so the current bank account now is at $1,120 again. We're always a month behind on the pizza, uh, but that's where we're at for today. Um, you can sign, see the graph right here. I'm kind of all over the place, but kind of in that upward trend, which is good. If you 
guys again. If you know anybody uh, or if you think your work would be interested in sponsoring, please go to the website, uh, secic.org slash sponsorship, and uh, have them follow that and apply. So we'll go ahead and do the, the news in five minutes. If you're like a lot of people, uh, you've been involved in a, bre in, in a breach, uh, what was fairly common uh, was that uh, attackers would uh, use the password in, password in those breaches and email it to you and say, hey, your computer's been hacked and I've been watching you do some funny business on your computer. Well, in December, uh, someone decided to blow that up. Uh, they uh, came out with a bomb scare saying that there's a bomb in your building. If you don't um, pay $20,000 in Bitcoin, we're going to blow up your building. Um, they, a lot of, from what I read earlier today even, um, uh, most of the, the emails came from Russia, but they're still figuring out who's behind that. Um, I know that they said that the FBI, since this email involved bombs, that the FBI was getting involved with that, so hopefully we hear something about that soon. There was like only one person who worked on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, it was very large. They, there were uh, city services that were covered, not here, but different places that were covered that. Again, last month, so some uh, large news. Um, they were able to identify um, two hackers in AP APT-10, uh, which is based out of China. Their targets were primarily managed services provider uh, providers, and from there they would then pivot down to their customers and exfil data and whatnot. Um, they also go by Cloud Hopper and MenuPass. Um, one of them, uh, I can't remember which one, was more involved in basically pull up their uh, rats and whatnot, and they even had a public GitHub where you could see those rats that they were using. So that's what that picture on the left is. Um, then uh, beginning this year, the uh, European Commission, um, this is the second year they've done it, uh, they have a uh, organization called a FASA, which is actually what that formal is, the FASA app, you know that. Um, where they go out and they audit op free and open source software um, projects. Um, and they, they're the ones that, they, they pay security researchers to do that. So they're putting together over a million dollars in, in bounties for that, um, for people to do. And I, I think there was like a total of 15 or 19 different um, um, projects that they were going to, And then again, earlier last month, there was a hacker called the Hacker Giraffe, and uh, what they ended up doing was they used Shodan, and they identified um, a bunch of printers that were directly connected to the internet, and what they decided to do was to send print jobs to those printers saying to subscribe to uh, PewDiePie, who's a YouTube uh, celebrity, telling people to um, subscribe and watch that, and they were just continually sending uh, print jobs to be doing that. And then uh, they garnered some, some small fame, and what they decided to do then as well was to uh, find Chromecasts that were directly connected to the Internet, and they would send out, um, it's basically a curl request that would switch whatever you were watching on your Chromecast to PewDiePie's YouTube channel, and it would start streaming. Um, the, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the person behind that got scared and then ended up deleting all their tweets and whatnot. Uh, this was a picture from yesterday where I went to show Dan, just typed in Tor9100, and there was 600, over 600,000 devices listed on that Tor. They may not all be printers, but I'm going to guess a good majority probably are. And then at the very bottom uh, was a Reddit thread in the Chromecast Reddit thread where somebody's at, uh, they, they went there and they said every 20 minutes or so my TV switches to some crappy YouTube video about PewDiePie with shitty rap music and a Chromecast hack hashtag. Anyone know how to stop their subscribing to bonkers? <laughs> and then finally, so uh, over the holiday break, um, you know, not just us were taking breaks, but the uh, people behind Emo. They run two infrastructures side by side, so if they have issues with one, they can still go with the other. 
Um, but usually when they take those breaks, they, they typically add new, add new modules or plugins um, to their droppers. And the latest one, what they'll do is uh, they'll actually check different blacklists to see if the IP address um, that they're sending from or the domain that they're, they're spamming from is blacklisted, and they'll just go ahead and move on and, and, and not use that. Um, the, one of the previous ones before that, modules that they used, is that they were exfilling um, users' data from their outlet, so different emails and whatnot from there, then that way they can target those users um, based off of those emails. So keep that in mind. And finally, um, we have jobs. Is anybody hiring? Yeah, but it's in the other one. And what company was? What company was that? Skewers. So there will be a uh, job posting coming on the, the Slack's uh, channel. Another good reason to join to <laughs> another good reason to join our Slack channel is again the jobs channel. It is fairly busy. We do share it with uh, uh, the, our friends in Sec DSM. They post jobs occasionally. We select elite post jobs. Um, does anybody else have any jobs available or opening soon? Anybody looking? Yeah? Can you tell, do you want to go ahead and just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background, what you're looking for?
right, the talks are up next. Go ahead and get some pizza, refill your drink.